Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Hasra. With people all over social media encouraging us to become our dream selves, which is often no less than perfect, I think we are slowly forgetting that we are pretty awesome just the way we are. In this video, I talk about how perfectionism can be self-sabotaging and why you should let go of the need of perfection in your life. skincare commercials telling us how to get that perfect glow or educational institutions that promote only those students who get that perfect score, I think the world is slowly getting obsessed with the idea of perfection. I mean, look at all those filters on social media apps that are designed to conceal even the slightest bit of imperfection and they make you look like some sort of an angelic creature. With that being said, there's nothing wrong with aiming high and wanting more for oneself. But if your idea of perfection is stopping you from following your passion or doing and trying things that you want to try in your life, then I think it's a major problem. You should shouldn't be procrastinating on trying on different things and getting involved in different activities in life just because you're not perfect at doing them. I have experienced this firsthand because it took me almost three years to finally let go of my self-sabotaging, almost stupid idea of perfection and finally start this YouTube channel. So if you find this video helpful at all, then please press the like button and subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me. So here are my five reasons to let go of perfection so you can lead a more productive and peaceful life. Number one, perfection is a myth. We have all heard that practice makes perfect, but really, who has ever seen perfect? I mean, nature is not perfect and it still is beautiful. And truth is that no matter how hard we try to be perfect, there's always going to be someone out there who's going to pop in and out perfect us. I'm not sure that word even exists, but you get the idea. In my opinion, the concept of perfection is very subjective. It varies from one person to another. For instance, what might be a great color on you can be completely wrong for another individual. And and if we start finding perfection in every little detail of everything that we do, then the list of flaws will go on and on and really, where does that even end? So yeah, practice and consistency with improvement can make you better. But if your goal is to be perfect, then you're off to a bad start. The goal of perfection is an unrealistic one which can only eventually lead to disappointment and grief. Number two. Perfection causes procrastination. Have you ever had a new idea that you get really excited about and you really want to bring it to life? But then you get struck by the need of perfecting it first. Next thing you know, it's been months or even years and you have either forgotten about that idea or you have just been perfecting it in your own head without ever doing a single thing about it. And then one day out of nowhere, you come across a news article or a video clip where someone has taken an idea that could have been yours and instead of waiting around for it to be perfect, that person has taken that idea, worked on it and has bravely put it out there for the world to see. According to a theory, the same ideas come to a lot of people at the same time. But only those who have the courage and patience to work on those ideas get to take the credit for them. So may this video be your motivation to stop waiting for that perfect moment, start that small business, take up that course, publish your poetry, whatever it is, just stop worrying about it too much and start working on it instead. I know for a fact, and I know you do too, that the only way to reach closer to perfection is by going through the process of dealing with the imperfections and not stopping midway. Point number three, perfection kills productivity. To elaborate further on what I conveyed in point number second, the goal of perfection is an unrealistic one. In my life, I have encountered some perfectionists who get too stuck on perfecting tiny little details that they eventually forget about the big picture. And this often leads to them never actually finishing what they once started. Please remember that done is almost always better than perfect. 
Once you have started working on something, then the goal shouldn't be to deliver some sort of perfect product. In fact, the goal should be to learn new things in the process, improve a little each time and have fun while you're doing it. And always try to finish once you have started working on something. Don't let the pressure of delivering that perfect performance or that perfect product weigh you down. I also recommend that you give yourself a deadline and mark your progress so that you can give yourself motivation to keep going. In this way, you will be forced to stay productive even when the perfectionist in you is not totally satisfied, which I doubt he will ever be. You will not let your need for perfection to sabotage your growth and eventually you'll be getting more work done in less time. Number four, Perfection is nothing but fear in fancy shoes. One of my favorite authors of all time, Elizabeth Gilbert, mentioned in her book, Big Magic, that perfectionism is nothing but fear in really good shoes. And perfectionism, I think, is a particularly dangerous kind of fear. I always call perfectionism fear in high-heeled shoes because it's fancy. It's like a real... What I took from that is that perfectionists can be some of the most self-doubting, anxious and fearful people. It's high time that you realize that your unreasonably high standards are not really doing you any favors. Your deep-rooted self-doubt and fear of failure is what causes you to think that you can either be perfect or nothing. And because perfect does not even exist, you are left with nothing. By the way, I've added the link of Gilbert's interview where she talks in detail about perfection and how it can be self-sabotaging in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. I'd like to add that it's okay and perfectly normal to be fearful before starting something new. But don't let that feeling of fear be your driving force because that will paralyze you, thus inhibiting your growth. And you'll have no choice but to stay stuck where you are currently. I have noticed that people who get stuck in this cycle and never try to do things that they really want to do, often get bitter and bitter with themselves and others in their lives. It might seem that they just hate everything and everyone in their lives, but that's not true. The real reason for their constant bitterness is because they haven't forgiven themselves for not being able to have the courage to try the things that they really wanted to do in their lives. And that kind of life for sure does not sound like fun, which is another reason why you should not let the idea of perfection come in the way of your dreams. Number five, perfection leads to a low quality life. I know it sounds weird, but as fancy and dreamy as the idea of perfect may sound, Truth is, nobody really wants to work with a perfectionist. And that's because perfectionists often get too stuck on perfecting tiny little details of everything that they get involved in that they intentionally or unintentionally end up sucking all the joy right out of that activity. Their energy is often tensed and kind of closed off. They are not open to trying out new ideas. And that's because perfectionism often arises from fear and other similar negative emotions. And I have noticed that the results often tend to be better when I am thoroughly enjoying each step of the process and celebrating the little victories along the way. Even if the competition is really intense, I can always learn how to deal with the stress and improve upon the other areas of my life. Anything is better than sitting around sulking and not trying at all. We don't live in a perfect world, so why can't we just embrace the little imperfections and aim for constant improvement and Enjoy. When the goal isn't perfection, then we can have the freedom of trying new things, exploring new ideas, and that leads to a more fulfilling, exciting, and often more rewarding journey. Okay, so that was my take on perfectionism. Please like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if your ideas about perfection differ from those of mine, then please put them on the comment box below. I'd love to learn something from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you and take care.